Hey, great to have you back. This is our follow-up video from uh, this spring where we applied liquid swine manure to no-till growing corn with a rye cover crop. The question always comes up, uh, you know, how how does all this application affect the yield? Again, the tractor, and uh, you see it does have duals on it, we're using a 55-foot splash bar, uh, applying 8,000 gallons uh, per acre. So we tried to do three replications of this, of basically eight rows, and that's the width of the 55-foot bar. The outside two rows kind of became the control, and we applied this at a 20-degree diagonal to the planted uh, corn rows. I think a positive we learned here in this no-till field uh, with the rye cover crop is really does give a cushioning uh, effect. We also learned if we uh, use the dragline hose in the V3 to V4 corn that the damage is going to be minimal. But as we walk through this field and follow up the, the path here, you can see there is some physical damage to the plants. The plants uh, that were impacted by the tractor tires definitely were stressed. But as we come back and a few weeks later and look at the crop, you can see that uh, within the tracks, those plants have recovered, good green color, and kind of filled in. Uh, the final plant population in this field ended up being 27,000. As you kind of analyze the stand placings and you look, it's fairly uniform and really there, there's no weed pressure here. So uh, as we analyze the individual ears, uh, obviously some variations there from these pictures and most of it tends to be in length. I think the question can be asked, are the stressed plants, uh, did they produce some of these poorer looking ears that aren't filled quite as uniformly and obviously are a little shorter. So uh, the yield results, uh, the three plots were really no significant difference for the eight rows. In summary, with no significant difference between the rows, I think we can say the tire footprint affects 3% uh, of the plants in each acre. The diagonal application pattern distributes the stressed plants throughout the field. Stressed plants recover to produce an ear, and uh, the cover crop absorbs uh, as the hose moves over the crop. And again, a big thank you to Jonathan Baker Farms uh, for helping us with this plot.